Hey Collective, today we're going to do a quick energy check-in to see if we can get some messages to my returning subscribers. Welcome back and to anybody who's new here, thank you for joining us today. I just want to thank everybody for your likes, your shares, subscribes. It really helps out the channel and to get the messages out into the Collective. I hope everybody's doing well today. And we're just going to go ahead and hop right into the message. So the first card out is the Three of Swords. So there's um, something about crying or pain here. Somebody could be crying over the loss of money or finances. Um, the, the next card that came out is uh, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This could be an Emperor in reverse. So this could be somebody who's very narcissistic. This could be somebody that you have children with. This could be a boss, a leader, a father figure. Um, this person could have Aries in their chart. There's communication that's coming towards you about a decision or somebody's made a decision regarding something. Whatever this decision is, there is some um, sorrow or remorse or regret that's attached to it that this Emperor in Reverse could be feeling about this money loss. So there's something about somebody losing um, something material. This could be um, money, love, or energy, but there's something significant here that this person has lost that they could be crying over. The King of Pentacles has come out in Reverse, so whoever this is is somebody who's very jealous or greedy, or um, they're focused on money in a very unhealthy way. This could be somebody who's abused, abused their um, power with finances. The Page of Wands is in reverse here, so the communication that could be coming towards you could be something that's very immature, or this could be bad news for this person. Um, whoever this is feels like they can't move on from you. And what they can't move on from is the thing that they invested in. They could see that you are investing in something new and what and there's something about your patience or your temperament. There's something about um, divine timing here, about you being patient and biding your time. And the Empress has come out in the upright. So we've got the Emperor in reverse and the Empress upright there's something here about a mother and a father figure this masculine whoever this is is somebody who is operating out of their shadow um the emperor in reverse is also somebody that is uh controlling the nine of pentacles has come out on top of the five of cups and the queen of cups so somebody could be regretting um not looking at your value somebody could be regretting the way that they treated you this person could be in regret about separating from you and they could see your worth now this person also sees you as somebody who's very nurturing and there's something about them still loving you or having love for you for some of you there's something about this person wanting to separate from a queen of cups there's a, an ending here um you could be seeing uh 21 a lot right now or 21 21 21 is the world card um that's what has just come out now whoever you are whoever i'm speaking to um it looks like there's something about financial independence here or just independence in general and still being in very loving energy and um a cycle completing so if somebody was trying to do something to you um, there's energy here where they're they're in pain and regretting whatever it is that they've done and it has something to do with a loss of material wealth 
So let's see what else. There's something about a bridge and somebody behaving in a way that is opposite to whatever energy that they're presenting in. So if somebody's behaving, um, what I'm getting right now is like the emperor that is in the reverse is somebody who's behaving, <laughs> who's, <laughs> this could be a masculine energy behaving in a feminine way. Um, and But also they're doing something in their shadow. Like this is somebody who's doing something that is um, the opposite of who they are. And there's whatever's happening right now during this timeline, there's something about um, the in-between, something in between um, death and rebirth, something in between, I'm getting like purgatory energy. So, but there's um, a bridge here that's talking about a cycle closing out. And then there's, the space between. It's going to be significant for somebody. For some of you, this is a passed on loved one that's with you. This could be a masculine figure who is passed on, who is here with you. Yeah, there's, <coughs> I just heard the kiss of death. There's something here about um, something that you can't see and a bridge between where you're coming from and where it is that you're going. place that you're going there's this is going to be a space that you're going into that you have not um this is a realm that you've never been to before there's something about um the cycle that you're closing out what it, whatever it is that you're walking to is something that's completely different than any of the cycles that you've previously been through where the people will be different the energy will be different the your job may be different the um your, the assets that you have, the feelings that you have towards the people that you have around you. And these are going to be things that you have in abundance. You could be a mother or have children or a maternal figure could be involved in whatever the situation is. Mm. This person that's that's crying over you, they're regretting the way that they tried to poison something. There's something about venom here, maybe things that they said or words that they tried to speak over your life or stuff that happened um, where they were trying to create an illusion. Tell me more about this energy. This person did this in order to cloud your vision, in order to do something where they were trying to, to speak a truth over your life that had that was built in a falsehood. There's something about them doing something that, um, yeah, to try to judge your life or create something that was not for you. This person, whoever this is, they could see that you have, um, that you are a mystic. You could be somebody who is very connected to your intuition or to the divine. And it's like they, this vision that you have for your life they tried to stop you from doing that by being judgmental or by trying to speak some sort of poison over you for some of you there's a judge here that this is talking about that's going to be able to see that this person tried to put a mountain in front of you by planting it's some sort of a seed that this person did something to try to stop your pilgrimage or your spiritual spiritual journey if this is not a judge or somebody who's seeing something maybe that's what this bridge is here there's somebody who's seeing 
this person that tried to be controlling with you. They tried to do something to cause a, a very hard ending for you, whoever this is. To take something from you. <laughs> this is a king in reverse. Who tried to steal something from you. Let's see what else. Show me the Empress energy. The Queen. <laughs> So the queen has come out on top of the empress. There's something about um, there's going to be a judgment that's called here with the divine um, or in the 3D about whatever the situation has to do with because your energy is one that people look at like the queen of cups or you are an empress or that you have empress energy or you have abundant energy on you and um, you're going to be seen as a queen. You're going to be seen as somebody who shouldn't be treated the way that these people were trying to treat you. There's something about them doing something in the dark or something under, like underneath is what I'm getting, whatever that means for you. Um, at the bottom of the deck, it says the destroyer. So these are people who could have done something to try to destroy your life to, to mess up whatever it was that you were trying to sustain. So let's see what else we get here. Whoever this is, um, the very first card out is the Three of Swords. So this person could end up in pain or crying or something. Or this is <coughs> pain or crying that you have been through that's coming to an end over this Emperor in Reverse. Um, and this person, whoever they are, they do end up in sorrow. They end up in regret and looking at the way that they should have spent their time. Whoever this is also, they end up seeing um, that you are protected. Um, I just split the deck and these cards are here. So they could be oper operating out of their shadow and doing something to try to um, to stop you from having a new beginning. They could be coming in to try to apologize to you, <coughs> to cause confusion, or to reignite whatever this illusion is, and it looks like this is somebody that you're avoiding. You could be at a stalemate with this person. They, When they come in to have a conversation with you to try to cause confusion, you may, um, or you are probably already there for this energy that I'm reading. There's something about you avoiding them or knowing that you're going to be at a stalemate and just accepting that for what it is and just avoiding them at all costs. So, let's see what else. Nourish has come out, so it looks like at this time, um, you're being asked to pay attention to yourself and um, pay attention to your soul's journey and your self-growth and to move on because there's this person who's coming in who is doing something. This person could have tried to victimize you or they could feel like a victim now and they feel like they have made a mistake. Whoever this is, if somebody feels very alone, they could be having an epiphany or a dark night of the soul. There's something about an awakening here. You could be having an awakening. For some of you, you've gone through several several already. Whoever this is, this person who is um, who did whatever it is that they've done here, this emperor in reverse, this person is lost. This person is a lost soul. They don't have anything that they are tethered to appropriately that helps them... Um, this person doesn't know who they are. 
it's like they are somebody who's constantly chasing thrills or looking for a good time. This is somebody who <laughs> lives in the moment and doesn't pay attention to the consequences of their actions. Um, this person looks like they're missing you in a very deep way at this time. It says desiring, craving. Um, for some of you, they feel like you're the person that nourishes their soul or you're the thing that they're tethered to that helps them know who they are. And that could be the epiphany that they're having or whatever awakening it is that they're having. That could be the thing that they come towards you with to try to tell you so that you'll forgive them to create more illusions. And for some of you, you've been through this with this person enough that you know that you're at a stalemate. Um, balance is here and harmony and peace. There's also something about friendship. This person could be doing something where they're spying on you on social media. Um, they are trying to get some information or trying to figure out some way to distract you or um, figure some info. All these cards are dumped out. So there's something about this person <coughs> spying on you and they are distracted by the level that they are wanting to be back in your space and they're at their breaking point whoever this is they could be um daydreaming or imagining what it is that they're going to say to you whoever this is they know that they've messed up um and that they have um that their emotions are blocked off they know that they even know that they're not operating from the correct space and it's like that they know that you are so it's like that's part of why they try to tether themselves to you so that they can get grounded because they are it's like they're just out there floating in space in the air this person could be an air sign or they're operating like an air sign where they're very yeah return just fell on the floor so this person is coming in to um Get a second chance. This person could be an opportunist. Whoever this is is wanting to make amends with you now. Whenever they come towards you, this could feel very shocking to you um, or unexpected. Whoever this is, they are very overwhelmed. They, um, I'm seeing tears here. This person could have cried over you. But it also looks like whatever they've done the hole that they've dug themselves into. This is something that they did from a place of ego. They were being controlling. They were, um, for some of you, this person was just abusive in general, whether this was physically, emotionally, mentally, financially, there's something about abuse here. And they know that you've abandoned the connection. <laughs> this person feels left out in the cold and like you've walked away from them. And they know that you've done this because of something that, that influences this person. Like they know... Whoever this is, it's like whoever gets in their space, they're very easily manipulated by that energy. So if this has to do with materials, then they get <laughs> focused on something to do with materials or they get fo focused on something to do with wealth or um, with people or um, addictions or their friends, whatever it is that's around them. It's like it's very easy for this person to unhook from you and be disloyal because they don't know who they are they're not a grounded person and so whenever they're they're around anything it's like it's very easy for that energy to take over this person yeah and I was gonna say but I didn't want to say but it came out anyway so I will say this what the other thing that I was gonna say is there's something about since they are not grounded and they just it's very easy for other people to take over them I also heard entity so it's like for some of for some of you, this person is operated by something that's very dark. They have something that's dark that's attached to them. Um, this could be somebody who just operates from a negative headspace. Um, they could have a curse on them or they could feel cursed. This person could feel like the way that they miss you or how they are wanting to be around you. They could feel like this is... Um, that it's witchcraft or a hex or like something that you did to them. For others of you, there's something about this person's bloodline being cursed because of the people in their family. They all operate this way. They're all very karmic and they're not doing anything to grow or to heal. Um, for some of you, this is somebody who has a personality disorder, um, like somebody who's narcissistic or a sociopath or somebody who they're just very self-focused. 
And so that's why it's so easy for negative things to attach to them because they're not, they don't have the wherewithal to ground themselves and remove negative energy and be introspective so that they can heal and grow and move on. Um, so for some of you, there's something about um, a curse or a hex. This person could have gotten readings on you. For some of you, this person did something like went to see somebody who claims to be a witch to send you dark magic. So um, for others of you, there's something that happened around Halloween that's significant as far as timing goes. For others of you, Halloween is in the fall. There's something about this person taking a fall. Um, and at the bottom of this deck is Divine Masculine. So there's whoever this... Wow. Um, <laughs> this says Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, Hopeless and Conflict. So this could have been somebody who <laughs> was your twin or some sort of a soulmate or somebody who was supposed to be on a divine path but chose something karmic. Or this person could be somebody who's supposed to break something in their family bloodline or you are but they're whoever this is isn't doing what they're supposed to be doing they're operating like the emperor in reverse and so there's a cycle that's closing out here where this person ends up in pain and then it's like they try to return to you for some of you um you're either the masculine or you're the feminine but whoever this is, one party is operating in a very karmic way and the other party is operating in, um, in a high vibrational way. And because the energies do not match, one person is staying behind and the other person is moving on to another cycle. And this has to do with a conflict and a broken, um, a broken contract. So this contract could be uh, <laughs> something to do with a business or this could have to do with a marriage or a relationship, or this could just be a soul's contract that's broken. This person's going to be left being bitter because their foundation is one where they can no longer speak to you and they're going to start chasing you. Because they feel like you're the only one. You're the only person that makes them feel grounded or a place where they feel like you are a good space for them to be in. And for some of you, this per it's like they know this. And they've always known this, but they, when they get influenced by other people, it's very easy for them to float away to something else. So, let's see what else. <laughs> we didn't get any advice. Get creative. Look at everything with, as a cup half full and use discernment. You need to know that there is a change coming in soon and there could be something that's coming up soon that you need to use your judgment with, but there's something about creating something and not letting people pour into your cup who are <laughs> unhealthy. You need to use good judgment. Um, and there's something about soon. So for some of you, there's some change that's coming up. There's a date that you're expecting. There's this person could be coming towards you soon. Um, something is going to be changing soon. And you need to be sure that your heart space is locked up from people who do not deserve your energy. But um, you also need to create something as part of what the advice is. So um, for some of you, it has to do... You could be painting something. You could be doing something with clothes. Some of you could be doing something um, online. There could be something that you're meant to create that helps people. Um, for others of you, this just has to do with whatever your soul's message is. Just continue to stand in that and be sure that you're speaking your truth and you're being honest with yourself. Um, whoop. All those cards jumped. The one that is at the bottom is distance. So this person could be at a distance from you and... Uh, there's separation here. And they're going to be coming back towards you, whoever this is. And for some of you, it is soon. So you may need to um, be in a creative headspace right now. And continue to look at things in a positive light. Be, be creative with your thought pattern. If there's something that's happening, if somebody is 
Uh, this person could be projecting on you, so be sure that if you're noticing that you're thinking something bad, that you do something to replace it with something positive and continue to create so that you can co-create with the universe to be able to manifest something new. Um, but there's changes coming in here soon. So I'm going to go ahead and end the message there. I hope this message was helpful. Thank you.